Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, my weekend warriors, my DIYers, and my garage gurus. Today I'm getting ready to do an oil change, but we've already got a video on that, so we're making a new one on replacing uh, a filter that most of you may not even know exists. So stick around and let's see what this filter's all about. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan. I am a former master mechanic for Kia, but I am in no way affiliated with any dealership or Kia, whatever. This is just me in my garage with you working on our K900s that are woefully undersupported. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're replacing what I consider a pre-filter or the secondary filter or the, I, it's just, it's a small filter. It, it, they, in the manual, it's called filter element. Uh, this was never something that was ever a really big topic of discussion. It's literally just a filter. And I have concluded a couple things that it is a pre-filter for the throttle body. And it is also a wide open throttle filter. I'll show you why. But anyway, uh, I'm getting ready to do an oil change and I figured I would swap this filter out because it's been sitting back there for a better part of three months. <laughs> it hasn't needed it yet. I bought it, it was on sale. Typically you can find these for less than 30 bucks. I think mine was like 18 shipped. Not too sure, but it is a genuine genuine Kia part. Anyway, so yeah, this is an easy video. I've actually been talking longer than how long it's gonna take us to swap this thing out. So let's get to it. So this is the filter in question. Here is the part number. It is 281133 Mike 500 Element Air Cleaner. And it sits right here right here if you've ever been curious hey what's underneath here this is an air filter now as you can see it is connected right here there's a tube here and if you ever have to uh, pull your drive belt out you're gonna have to get this out of the way there's two I'm actually missing my push pin but like I said in the intro this actually comes to here this is a functional air intake that comes down to there and all you do is you loosen this tab and then loosen this tab now there's nothing here you have to worry about it's all pretty straightforward just set it right there now this little piece right here do you have to maintain control of that. You can see how I took it out, edge towards us. Now, right here, this is it. There's the air filter. Just this little baby, this little baby air filter. And the reason I say that it's like a pre-filter or a wide open throttle filter is because it's literally parked right next to the throttle body. The throttle body sits right there. Your main air filter is right here and draws air from the same box. I don't know if you can see this, but see right here? That little section right there goes to the main air filter. But if you notice, there's this little piece right here and this secondary opening that goes into here. That is right next to your throttle body here. But anyway, so let's, uh, let's, Let's get this one installed. All right, so as you can see, it's definitely time to replace this one. This is obviously the old one. And here's the new one. And it looks exactly, so you get the tabs on top. Here's the old one, tabs on top. So let's go ahead and just slide this back into the hole. It just drops in. Now remember, this one has holes on it. Let's see if I can get that lined up for you. There you go. And it's gonna correlate to the holes right here. So we're just gonna slide that in like so. Pin and pin. And then we take 
our cover and it just snap. <laughs> of course, snap. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That is it. Hope you enjoyed today's brief video. <laughs> Again, this is it's just another filter element, the K900. It's, it's specific to the K900. You have your main air filter and then you have wide open throttle filter just because it has its own dedicated air path to introduce air into the engine. Um, can neither confirm nor deny uh, if it's a wide open throttle, but anyway, it just makes sense. Glad you stopped by. I have a few more things to do on this and then I'm pretty much set. I'm just under 90,000 as of today and I'm getting ready to do an oil change. Transmission fluid and the spark plugs are coming up next. Uh, I've already done the drive belt. That is, I think that one's a little a little too much for your every your everyday person. I could be wrong, but that is something that I would recommend you take to a professional unless you just absolutely know that you can do it but i would recommend take a anyway anyway this one's about the filter not the belt so again the part number and i'll have the i'll have the part number in the description uh, but it is 281133 m or mike 500 and it's element air cleaner that is a genuine kia part and I think it cost me like 18 or 20 bucks or something like that. But anyway, stick around for more to come. I don't know what's next. I think cabin filters on the list and we've already done wiper blades. I'll figure something out, but until then take care. And if you need any help, there is a K900 group on Facebook uh, that we are a part of. I'll see if I'll leave a, I'll leave a link uh, to that group and you can join us. And if you've got a 2015 to the last year that they made it, in america uh come on in we'd like to have you and we're just here to help so anyway again not affiliated with anybody just me my and oh yeah my nissan oh, i need this thing to live just live anyway i'll see you guys later <laughs>